Where does set come from, guys? Here, the hole. Inside here, got a hole. So that's why, I think when it rains, the dead all come here, water flow in, and then come here. That's why there's so lot of um, dirt. Oh my god. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I think if some of you have uh, watched for the very first time, do subscribe, all right, support the channel so I can have uh, create more content. Um, press the subscribe button on the notification and share with uh, your friends, yeah? All right, so some of you might have uh, seen my teaser video. Some of you also uh, cannot wait. Uh, what's up and what's the big problem about uh, Bronton? If you can see the video here, uh, it's from Dr. James, a uh, YouTuber Help as well. You with your buying decision. Let's get to it. The holes, this one. Yeah, and then water could get in there and things like that. Can it? It can, but yeah. at the same time, like if water, let's say, goes in there, let's say that bit there, yeah. it's closed off. So this is sealed. Just, yeah, so technically it would just sort of, sort of come out and you can kind of clean it pretty easily. Sure, 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 sure. Also, titanium doesn't really like corrode. Yep. Uh, with water and things like that. What about this end? Is it is this an empty tube that water can go uh, through? It's an empty tube, but I believe it should go come, to yep, come yep. out of there. I think uh, we have I haven't actually asked them. I should have asked them <laughs> uh, when the question came up. Technically, it shouldn't. Too much water shouldn't get in there, and then it should really cause any issues. Like uh, I did see during the manufacturing process that there is a hole here. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking maybe so sort of go down it's, it's well. a way of relief. Yeah. And this is hollow underneath, yeah. right? Yeah. That's where the seed post comes through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so it all kind of connects to it as well. Yeah. This is hollow. No, this is not hollow. This goes straight into the bottom uh, bracket. This one goes straight into the bottom bracket, but then it should have that bit as well that sort of goes into where the seed post is. Yep, yep, so yep. It should still... There's some vent. You watched the video already, right? So I thought Bonton would think about something to solve the problem, but eventually not. So... Uh, what happened is I've been riding this Bronton since last year June All right, so it's about uh, a year plus and the mileage that I've clocked is about 2000 plus km And I've been riding this, this is my daily ridden uh, Bronton So once I we, we discover this I cannot wait because I've already changed the BB uh, a new BB so you, of course you do not want your new BB to also to have this problem right so no, knowing that right. so straight away after seeing this problem the uh, person that I can think of back then was Alice Alice for Merrick uh, 3D print all right so if you some of you may may uh, know them or may know her from the maker of this the storage one the storage uh, 3D print uh, for T-line, all right, you just can insert here. So What they did was I Tell them a problem show them the video that I've took the video that you have you seen as well so They created this sand stopper. All right, so this is how it look like So if you can see me guys, it's a very simple solution. Create something to stop the sand from entering. All right, so she come up with this uh, design that complement the storage uh, 3D print as well. So if you can see here, M is the make Maverick 3D print, right? This is the logo. So this one is to indicate it will work together with the storage if you already have it. If you don't have it, it's fine. All right, so this is to show the position of how you're going to place it. Because if you place the other way around, it may hinder the, the storage uh, compartment itself. So if you don't have the storage compartment, it doesn't matter. You can do this way or this way, it doesn't matter. All right, so there's a video on how to 
to fix it or to install this for me i will install whenever uh, take it away I received this two weeks um, from Alice and uh, Tanjung Malim at Perak to, for bike camping and we tested this. It's a good uh, time to test because uh, the weather was uh, rainy and then uh, some wet um, roads. So you can see yeah, the video here. You Guys, can see that we just finished our cycle um, at this campsite and it's a very good uh, testing for the what do you call it stopper it's a prototype uh, from Mavic eh? so let's see eh? see after cycling uh, in the mud in the water you see there's a lot of sand entering but with this stopper it prevents the sand from seeping through the frame and then it goes here and go to the bottom bracket so so far it's good it's stopping the water and uh, sand uh, from entering so let's see i will do more tests and see what uh, what else to improve all right uh, just a short distance of 3 km 36 km uh, or 35 km um, uh, cycling ride and it being accumulate quite a few uh, sand uh, um, and to the top tube luckily there's a sand stopper that help prevent it can you imagine if at the long run, if you don't really um, know there's such a problem, it will be continually uh, accumulate a lot of sand and water uh, at the bottom bracket. This is a good product guys. Um, I'm glad that they act fast. Um, I just tell them the problem and they come up with a solution. This is just a phase one, maybe phase two, after you put uh, the stand stopper here, maybe they will uh, maybe incorporate some storage um, part of it. All right. So after Tanjung Malim, I came back home. So the last few days, I managed to test it. I test on tarmac, I test on gravel surface with all this setup, and I um, the last surface was uh, a bit sandy. So I discovered that the sandy surface that really uh, accumulate a lot of uh, sand all right so just be mindful if uh, you don't wish to have this problem you can have a maggot but even though you have a maggot if you got heavy rain uh, somehow the rainwater will will able to enter from the top tube right here right to the bottom bracket so one of the solutions is this so maybe if you have any comment that any suggestion just feel free to comment at the comment section below and share with us so we see what what else that we can improve or make it look better all that so uh, at the same time if you are interested in buying there's a description below where you can purchase all that okay i hope this uh, video is useful especially the t-line owner or a potential t-line owners that uh, wish to purchase the t-line just be aware about this uh, current problem all right so for now ride safe and be safe guys. Bye.